Hello, I'm Barbara, and today we'll be sketching and painting an easy landscape. I'll be using a Wacom Intuos tablet and Artrage Lite. Once you open Artrage, you will have everything you need right in front of you. Click on the small pods to expand them into panels. To the left are all your tools, and to the right we have the color wheel and the layer panel. I'm going to recreate a landscape with you. To start with, I'm sketching the rough shapes with a pencil. Now that I have an idea of what I want to paint, I'm choosing the watercolor brush and a heavy bleed preset. To get a tooltip over 100%, you have to click on the tool size. For this technique, I will use a 200% tooltip. We'll start with the sky and I'm selecting a dark, dramatic blue. To make it easier, I'm changing the settings. Pressure to 80% and thinners to 10. Let's add a layer to preserve the sketch. Start off canvas and move the brush all the way across without lifting the stylus. This way we get variations and a more interesting sky. We'll change color and blend it with the same technique. The colors I choose are gradually getting lighter to create depth. To blend, start off canvas. Just go back and forth without lifting the stylus. I'll change colors once more and finish off the sky. Let's add some clouds. I'll use the preset Just Water and tooltip of 150%. I'm making a circular motion and the effect is as if I were lifting pigment off the canvas. The longer you hold the stylus down, the darker your brush stroke gets. You have to find the right balance of holding down to blend and adding fresh water with a new stroke. We're giving the clouds depth, but also integrating them into the sky. I'm changing pressure to 37% and using the same circular motion for the rest of the clouds. I'll erase where I went too far here and create a new layer for the foreground. I'll select the green using the outer hue wheel and the inner brightness wheel. Pressure to 80, thinners to 8. I'll do a few strokes at the bottom here. Next, let's add another layer and bring it down below the previous one. I'll choose a more yellowish green, tooltip to 200. As you can see, watercolor is additive, so the foreground color also becomes darker. Add another layer, pull it down like before, pick a lighter green. I'll add a layer again and paint way back on our horizon. Pressure to 55, tooltip 100%. Give some variation to the greenery here. Next I'm going to switch to the palette knife. Choose the Instant Blur preset and go over this hard bottom edge. Now I'll turn off my sketch layer. Let's make one final layer and add a vignette around the edges. 300% tooltip, select the airbrush tool. Choose a brown black and bring the pressure way down. So I'm going over this corner a few times and similarly all the way around. And with that, we're done. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.